Okay, now in this question, uh, so there are four forces given, right? F1, F2, F3, and F4. Two newton and one newton. So now, um, okay, maybe see those, those who want to get in a fast answer, you can maybe skip the video and uh, the last uh, five to two, I think uh, the last last couple of minutes you find the, the, the entire solution written in one single uh, page. But I would suggest that you know others who who want to understand the concept and who want to uh, who want to take down each and every step and try to understand to try to learn the methodology of doing these kind of questions right for them uh, i would request that you please stay with me we will go through each and every force here so we'll start with f1 f2 f3 and f4 individually and every i'll i can assure you that every doubt and concern of yours will be um, addressed in these explanations okay so let us first uh, go with the force f1 So, this is F1 over here, right? This is F1. Now, see, I'm going to use uh, the horizontal as the reference here, okay? So, every force will be resolved with respect to the horizontal. So, the first force is like F1 and the horizontal like this. So, this is the horizontal and this is F1. So, what is the angle between the horizontal, horizontal and the given vector here? It is 0 degree. In which case, what is F one x? Okay, see, uh, this this doesn't make sense. Why? Because this is a pure, this is purely a purely a vertical force. There is no, sorry, purely a horizontal force. There is no point in writing this. Okay. So the angle between them is zero degree, and therefore the only component present here is only component present here is F one, right? Okay. Second force, which is F2, right? So we have F2. The given system is this. The force under consideration is F2. As I said, we are resolving it with respect to the horizontal. So we'll draw the horizontal one more time, and then we'll draw the vector here. So angle between horizontal and the vector is 90 degrees. So the horizontal component of the vector is 0. And the vertical component is the vector itself, which is F2y is equal to F2, right? So so what are, what are the basic steps we have to follow? You first find uh, draw the system. Isolate the force. Identify the force under consideration. OK, okay please give me a second. There's something wrong here. Oh, OK. Uh, charge of it okay now we have the system 3 right sorry the, the force 3 so again what is a given system we have the diagram what is the force under consideration here the force under consideration is force under consideration is f3 or which is actually equal to the 2 newton here and we have uh, the horizontal so what you can do is you can actually uh, consider either this angle, this complete angle here, or you can um, start drawing from here. So if you take uh, if you take F, uh, 45 here, okay. If you want, I can just complete this diagram for you. So you know, if, if this if this is the triangle that you consider, if this is the triangle you consider here, this is two newton, right? So this is the triangle you consider, and this is theta. Let us say this is A, B, C. How will you know the direction of these? That's very important to understand. Why? Or, or rather, how? See, the direction here is pointing outwards. Therefore, both the unit vector, sorry, both the component components would also would also move away from the point. Okay. So next, you will ask me then, uh, how will we do it when the force comes inwards? That will clear. That will become clear in the next force. Okay. So here, uh, from this diagram, from this diagram, what is sine theta? Sine theta is actually equal to AB by AC, right? Similarly, what is cos theta is equal to? Cos theta is equal to BC upon AC. So tell me, what is BC then? So BC now is equal to AC into cos theta and what is ab from here ab now is equal to ac into ac into sin theta so what is ac ac is this force 2 newton right 
So I can write instead of AC, I can write here instead of AC, I can write here 2 cos theta. Uh, 2. So BC becomes 2 cos theta. So what is AC again? AC is AC is equal to 2. Now what is BC? See, BC is actually the horizontal component here, right? BC is the horizontal component. So instead of BC, I can write this as the horizontal component of X. Oh, sorry, the horizontal component of uh, 2 Newton force, right? And what is AB? So if you pay close attention, AB is nothing but, what is AB? AB is the vertical component here. So instead of AB, I can write F3, F3Y, right? So what is F3Y is equal to? F3Y is equal to F3 into sine theta, which is, oh, wait, uh, it should be not cos 45, it should be sine 45, my bad. So this is F3 into, F3 into sine 45. So, how much is this? Uh, 2 cos 45 is 2 into 1 by root 2, 2 sin 45 is 2 times 1 by root 2. Okay, so that's it with the force 3. Let us now go for the final force which is force 4. And here if you see, the force is moving away from the point of origin. Therefore, both the components, right? Therefore, both the components will also move both the component will off maybe I'll use a different color so both the component one component will move away from the like this right and the other component will also move away from it and then if you draw the diagram if you draw the triangle what can you do then you can just transpose this vector over here like uh, okay maybe maybe it shouldn't be drawn that large right so one vector like this and the other vector like this and then what can you do you can transpose this vector to this place and and you can now draw the triangle for your reference so when you draw this triangle for your reference you can name this as triangle abc and then you'll tell me what is sine theta is equal to sine theta here is equal to ab upon ac and therefore what is ab is equal to ab will be equal to ac into sine theta and what will be bc bc would be correspondingly ac into ac into cos theta and instead of ac what can we write ac is the complete vector which is actually the one newton vector so instead of ac we can write one newton one newton what can we write instead of ab and bc see what is ab here ab is actually the ab is actually the y component right it is a perpendicular vector uh, what is uh, bc here bc is the horizontal vector so this is 1 newton y component is equal to 1 newton sin theta and 1 newton x is equal to 1 newton cos theta therefore this becomes uh, 1 into what is cos 45 cos 45 is 1 by root 2 f4 is 1 sin 45 this is 1 by root 2 are we done? No. See, now comes the most important um, section of the solution where, where I would say most of the students uh, skip the session here and or most of the students don't give much emphasis to it and eventually they get uh, confused by the values. So I'll clear, I'll clear all your doubts here in, 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 this, in this one single section. So this is F1, right? Moving towards the right. And then we have Mm, wait. We had a couple of resolutions done here, right? Which was, yeah. So we had one component like this, the other component like this, one component like this, and the other component like this, right? Okay. So now you will tell me, with the reference to this axis, towards left, towards left, we will consider as positive towards my bad towards right we'll consider as positive and towards left we'll consider as negative upwards we will consider as positive and downwards we will consider as downwards we'll consider as negative okay so what is f1 here f1 is towards right so f1 would be F1 would be F1 would be positive. Okay? Right. 
is there any uh, x component uh, is there any x component of uh, uh, f2 here no therefore it is zero so it doesn't matter what you write it becomes zero now mind you we're talking only about the f fx components so fx12 is over what is f3x f3x is this force which is acting towards the left and towards the left is negative so this is 2 by root 2 but i'll have to take it as minus 2 by root 2 what is f4x it is the f4x component towards the right which means towards the right which means i'll have to make it plus moving on to sigma fy we want sigma fy so in sigma fy in sigma fy what is the what is the first force here f1y f1y is equal to 0 so that goes uncounted f2y is equal to f2 so we'll write here f2 but f2 direction of f2 see f2 is acting downwards towards downwards it is negative so we'll have to take here negative f3y f3y is 2 sin 42 right it's 2 sin for, sorry 2 sin 45 and it is moving upwards moving upwards is positive so we'll have to add here positive f4y f4y is again moving upwards which means i'll have to add a 4y to summarize this what is this equal to this will be equal to f1 minus 2 plus 1 root 2 is minus 1 root 2 right similarly over here what do you get what you get is minus f2 plus 2 plus 1 root 2 is 3 by root 2 and since this entire system is in equilibrium i can say that sigma fx is equal to 0 right and i can also say that sigma f y is also equal to 0 and if sigma f1 is equal to sigma fx is equal to 0 this fraction this equation would be equal to 0 which gives us the value of f1 is equal to 1 by root 2 And similarly, since sigma fy is also equal to 0, sigma fy is also equal to 0, uh, what is f2? f2 will be equal to 3 by 3 by uh, 3 by root 2. Now, if you divide f1 by, what ratio is f1 by f2? Right? Yeah, okay. So, if f1 by f2 is asked, how much will that be? That will be equal to 1 by root 2, the whole upon the whole upon 3 by root 2 which will give us the answer as 1 by 3 right now let us go back to the question what does the question says the question says if f1 is to f2 if f1 is to f2 is equal to 1 is to x what did we get the answer as 1 is to 3 therefore what will the value of x therefore x will be equal to 3 a very good question um you know just a basic application of concept of resolution of forces so please go through it if you have any doubts please feel free to write to us we'll definitely get back to you okay all right uh, having said so let's move on to the next question